Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. But first coffee and can you check out this fantastic cup? This is a resin cup. My friend Tammy makes them. She lives in Florida. She's got a Facebook page called Tammy's Tumblers. I will put a link below. They're done with resin. <gasps> Do you see the glitter? Oh my gosh, I love it. Tammy and I have been friends for years and when she said she was gonna start making these, I was gonna buy one to show you, but then she just sent me one. I was like, cause we're friends. Mm, I've got some maple, the last of my maple coffee in here, but can you see it? I just love the colors. It's like scarlet and gray with glitter oh, and it keeps my coffee so warm. So I wanted to share that. So if you wanna get one, you know, I don't, I haven't checked out all the details on her site, like how long, what she can do, but I'm sure she can do custom. Uh, just reach out to her. Okay. Dollar Tree haul. We've got all the householdy stuff covered. And there's just not a lot of stuff out yet. New stuff that I haven't already showed you, but I did get a fair amount. Um, so I picked up these. These are Sunbeam. I have a chandelier up in my hall. It's not a chandelier. I mean, it is, but it isn't like fancy. It's just it takes these bulbs. So I grabbed, I hope these last as long as they say they're going to last. Because um, I got to bring the ladder upstairs to put these in. Now it only takes two, but it involves a real ladder. So I hope they hold on. Um, got some makeup household -y type items. I found the Sparkling Cranberry Foaming Hand Sanitizer. Um, I don't need any more like cleaning product right now, but I did need some sanitizer and I love that it's foamy. So we're gonna see if it works. Uh, this is for me and it's supposed to, mm, smells like cranberry. It smells like Ooh, like cranberry Sprite, it's like a soda. And it's foam. Yeah, feels good. Hi, Dab. Hi, Dabs. Feels like sanitizer. Gotta have it. And I like the foam because it goes away quicker. Um, boring stuff. I grabbed some ibuprofen because I was out. And I grabbed extra strength Tylenol. Acetaminophen is Tylenol. Um, I don't take a lot of Tylenol. I don't find that it's effective for me, but my doctor told me when I get my vaccine, she wants me to take extra strength Tylenol every four hours and Benadryl at night for two days, um, just to stave off every six hours or something. I, I wrote it down, but just to stave off any um, side effects that I might get from the vaccine. So I bought some. I have heard there's something with ibuprofen, but I'm not sure. So we'll just stick with Tylenol. So I grabbed a bottle of that. And then I got some hand sanitizer wipes for my purse. These are Aquel. They are the exact same everything as the runs in the red box, but I like these. You get two little 15 packs. And I like these for my purse in the car. So I just bought some more of those. Didn't get much in the beauty, too much beauty. I did find this Broadway color correcting face primer. Typically I use the green, but this says it affects the red as well. So, cause I have red undertones. So we'll try it for a dollar, whatever. So I grabbed that by Brand Central. I don't know. It was repackaged it says, but I don't know what manufacturer it is, but Broadway Beauty. So I grabbed some of that. And then I grabbed a pack of these eye gels, put them in your fridge. And when you're doing your little pampering, you put them on your eyes. I made the mistake of freezing my last one, but you can also put these in the microwave if you want like warm compresses. So I thought these are cute and they're heart shaped with the gold jelly glitter. I'll put those in my refrigerator. Oh, and then one more householdy two more householdy things. Um, I just picked up a couple lighters. I was running low and these are cute and you know, gotta let my candles in my fireplace. So I just grabbed a couple of those. These feel like they have more fluid in them than the big long stick ones, but I don't know. I just needed lighters and they had them. And so I said, hey, I'll get those. 
right? I mean, sometimes we need household stuff. Ooh, don't put it on the floor, it will spill. Okay, last householdy thing. I found one of these Essentials laundry bags. I'm gonna take it out. I'm not using it for laundry. I'm, I don't need a laundry bag like that. But what my thought was, yes, storing off-season blankets, pillows, stuff like that. Oh, there's a pocket in the front, but I was thinking of putting my off-season linens in here, like all the throw blankets come spring when I don't need them out because I'm not as cold. And I thought I could store them in here and this would keep the dust and the cats from sleeping on them. One of them, the one in the window over here, Mr. Alex, likes to get up in my closets and sleep on the comforters and the blankets and stuff. So what I'll do is wash them, dry them, put them in that this laundry bag here and then put them in the closet. I don't care if he lays on that. I don't even care if I have to throw it away at the end of the season, but I'll keep my linens fresh. So that's what I grabbed that for. Um, I only got one thing in the garden section and I do not believe this is Dollar Tree. It is ecological, eco-smart seed bird feeder, includes everything you need to hang your seed. Distributed by Pesh Specialty, just a specialty products. Um, but if you look on the back, you use an old water bottle or soda bottle and you can hang it in your tree and then the birdies come and they eat it. And I want to hang this out in my backyard so I can see it from my office. I did grab two, one may end up in a giveaway, maybe not, I don't know. We have to see how they work before I go sending stuff away. But I do need to buy a soda bottle and bird seed. But I think it'll also keep the squirrels out, although I don't care if the squirrels eat it, but I got two bird feeders and it just says you just remove the plug, fill it up, put the screw on, turn it over, and then they can sit on these little perches here and eat the food right out of the holes. We'll feed the birds. And if, I, if they're in the backyard in the big tall pine tree, the boys won't be so aggravated by them. I thought about my tree right outside my window, but it would drive them batty to have the birds in the window at their, in their, uh, where they sit all the time. So that's not a good idea. Um, I picked up householdy two of these baskets. Um, I love this color. It's like a mint green. I love the stability of these baskets. I got this one and one a little bigger. And what I'm putting in the larger one is all my packaging supplies for mailing out prizes this year. So I have like my tissue and my twine and scissors, a pair of scissors and some tape and the bags that I have to mail things out. This one, I don't know, it may end up in my refrigerator to be honest. I love putting things in containers like this in my refrigerator, like condiments and stuff. So if there's spills, it gets on here and not my glass shelves. But I'm a single lady living in my house. I can do that. I don't have a house full of kids that you'd have to keep up with, but you do you. I mean, these are great. Offices, put your pens in it, all that. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed this because I thought it was super pretty in this blue color and it has a little bit of bling to it. It's just a votive holder. They had them in this color and I love the hobnail on here. Um, and I thought it kind of coordinated with my living room with the navy blue or shelf or my tiered tray. I just got the one. They had them in clear, I think pink, this blue. I think that's all I saw at my store. But you can put a votive in here. You could put a little bit of flowers in here. If you wanted to, you could put your pens in there, makeup brushes. It's a little small, but you can make it work. So I grabbed that. And then the last house, no, two household things or decor things, I found finally my store. They've never carried these. They had lemons and limes. I just wanted the lemons and I got two packs. I have other lemons, but I didn't have a lot of the big ones. And I love this in the summer and the spring, like filling a jar with them in my kitchen. I just think it's so bright and cheery. And I was excited to see these at my store. And they're decent. I mean, this is like a real size lemon or lime. They're life size. And I don't typically eat a lot of citrus because there's a lot of carbs, so I can just do that. And then I grabbed one of these bamboo wreaths. 
I'm going to do a DIY with it and then it's gonna sit on my mantle. I already know where it's going. Cool. Right? I mean, it could be my halo, but I doubt it. So I grabbed one. They come out in the, usually for the spring and I love them. If you got two small ones, you can make a Mickey Mouse wreath. If you got this one and two, a small one or three small ones, you can make a snowman wreath. Um, but I'm gonna do my mantle wreath with that. So I grabbed that. All right, didn't get a ton of crafty bits, but I got some. Um, I found this, it's the mason jar lid, but it has the, the um, you can hang it. And I really think that'll look really pretty outside on my porch with maybe a tea light or something in it, hung on a hook or even a candle or one of those solar lights down in there. That works too. So I just grabbed one of those. I found the faux leather in the other colors. So I got two gold, a silver, and this is like a maroon color, I think. Or is that the dark brown? I think it's maroon, but it could be dark brown. Um, to do a DIY with. So I think I have all the colors, but I don't know. I have enough colors. How about that? The one thing I am on the absolute hunt for is that Sunbeam desk lamp. I need that for crafting, and I hope my store gets them. I've never seen them in all the years that I've been doing this, and I've never seen lamps at my DTs, but that doesn't mean it's not coming, right? So we gotta have a unicorn item, but I need one for my, I think that'll be perfect for lighting, for crafting in the evening. Oh, so I found the faux leather, so I got plenty to do a couple DIYs. I found another set of these eggs, but they're in like a gold. Never saw that before, and I love them. I think those would be very pretty, probably in my tree or tray for um, Easter, or just leave them in this cardboard container and take off the plastic and just let them sit out. I think that's pretty too. Um, but I've never seen them in just the gold, and I've painted them gold before, but do the work for me. I'm all about it. This I have not seen either. It's, they're calling it tempera watercolors. I don't know what that means, but it's like watercolor paints. How fun. We'll try them out. I don't know, I've got some canvas. I don't really know how to watercolor, but we can do fun things, right? I just have not seen these before, and I'm like, oh, we need to show our friends. So temper watercolors. I have not found the cutouts, the laser cutout flowers and all those and the words yet either. Crossing my fingers, we get those at our store as well. Uh, on the wood front, I did find these. Now I usually don't buy too many of these because honestly, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with them. But this one I liked because the light shines through the pineapple. I could totally paint that up for summer and I think it would look fantastic. Again, to your tray, but I think this will even look cute on my mantle or on a shelf somewhere and just the right amount, or even in my kitchen, just some summertime. Okay, well, this one's broke, just so you need to know. I just broke it or it just broke. I mean, it's fine. It came separated over here. Oh, it came up here too. So I'll get the glue out, but the problem is this little piece of wood is short. So I'll just glue it up here and here. But if you see in there, so just check, or if I want to take it apart, apparently I can, I got two. Um, so if I wanted to take the fronts off and use them on a sign, they apparently come apart easy, which is fine. I found some of the flower yarn, the Just Yarn in the, I got this color and it has these little poofs on it. It's considered like an art yarn. I will see what we can do with this, something fun. I'm sure I just grabbed the one, but they had all different colors, but one I think will be plenty for me and what I want to do with it, cause I don't know what I want to do with it, but I liked it and it just said spring. This said spring to me. So I picked that up. I grabbed a pack of these. I try to pick them up every so often. Um, these are just their like plastic cutting boards, which actually work great, especially if you're gonna cut like raw meat and stuff. But I use them for crafting. Um, I like to hot glue on them so it protects my table or painting, just things like that. You can also cut them and punch holes in them and use them for like a binder cover or something. 
but I like them for crafting. And I didn't have any extras. I'm out. Um, I did find the gnomes in the St. Patrick's, which are adorable. Look at these little guys. Oh, they're so cute. And like I said, I don't do a ton of St. Patrick's decor, but I'll put some stuff out. But I love that. And these, I think, um, if I had to guess, yeah, they have like, I think the background has got a blue tint to it. So if you put it on white, you're going to see a little bit of blue, but that's okay. So yeah, I found those. I just grabbed one. That's all that's necessary. All right. So that is it. Oh, no. One more. Two more. One more. What is this? That's not Dollar Tree. This is. I got the Acai Grape Waters Splash. Six for a dollar. I love that. I just love that I can get six bottles of water for a dollar. And they're flavored. So I grabbed just one of the. This is the um, Acai Grape. I got that. And then I got some office stuff. Um, some is for me, a little, a little bit's for me, and some of it's going to be for a future giveaway I'm putting together. So first I got a new calculator. Uh, my calculator busted. I punched in one of the numbers and it won't come out. And I don't care for a dollar. I just like to have these for when I'm doing couponing or, you know, just the house. Just to have a little calculator on my desk. So I grabbed one of those. Um, I picked up two more of these letters. The pineapple and the floral. I'm going to keep the floral for me. Um, and it's just a little stationary set. And then part of my giveaway is going to be the pineapple one. I'm doing a stationary giveaway. So this is going in there. Um, a pack of my favorite pens is going to go in there. I love these pens. They have them in black too, but I just got the colored. So in the giveaway is going to go a pack of pens. And the giveaway is going to go a notebook that says no drama for this llama. How fun is that? And the cover is shiny and there might be a little bit of a glitter to it, but it's not the kind of glitter that's going to fall off. And I believe these have like 60 pa 50 pages, just a little notebook. So I grabbed one of those. And then I grabbed this one with the mermaid scales on it because how fun is that for the giveaway? And again, these are just lined. I believe these are lined 50 sheets. I don't want to, oh yeah, they're lined. Lined 50 sheets, just notebook paper because everybody needs to take notes, right? And one of these is going to end up in the giveaway. They're both tie dye. Look at this one. I love these the best with because I can get the cover out of my way when I'm making lists or notes or whatever it is I'm doing with my notebooks. Typically, if I when I used to coupon, which I will again, but just not during COVID, um, I would use these to do my weekly calculations on what I needed to go and to the Dollar Tree or to I'm sorry, <laughs> CVS. But I could put like grocery shopping lists on here, just whatever. Um, so there's the blue, and then there's this pastel as well. So those are going to go into the giveaway. Um, I found a book, Suzanne Summers book. I didn't know this even existed, but it says Two's Company, a uh, 50 year romance with lessons learned in love, life and business. I thought I would give it a try. There's pictures of um, Suzanne Summers, you know, interesting. Not a thick book, not a big read. But I thought, for a dollar, I'll totally read that and then pass it on. Maybe I'll take it to the nursing home. I'm sure that the one over by me has like a, a reading library, a borrowing library or something. And then the last thing I picked up is for a friend of mine. She likes to do adult coloring. And this is I'm Fluent in Sarcasm. And so it's an adult coloring book. And it says, like this one says, whatever sprinkles your donuts. This one is, the struggle is real. And they're just fun little sarcastic sayings. Get over it. Um, I run on coffee and sarcasm. Just a fun little book I thought she would enjoy. And this says, I eat chocolate for your protection. 
Uh, I like that the backs are plain too, so you can use markers or just tear them out and color. So I grabbed that for her. I found it in the doll er, in the coloring book section. So that's everything this week. So I hope you enjoy. Remember, if you too would like to get your very own personalized resin mug, um, the website is called Tammy's Tumblers on Facebook, and I will put a link in the description below. All right, guys, gotta go. Talk to you later. Bye.